everyone, for in Litchfield National Park. And we're going to the Lost City. We didn't get to go here last time, because uh, I think it was out of bounds on our uh, rental vehicle. Anyway, we're uh, heading down there now. The road's a little bit rough. It's not very corrugated, it's just really rocky. Um, so you're just taking it easy, and hopefully it's going to be worth the drive. It's not a long drive. Good track so far, Sonia, wouldn't you say? Yeah, no more difficult than Jim Jim, really. Yeah, probably a bit easier than that, but more like the um, one out to Twin Falls. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do it in the Mazda, but it doesn't seem too outrageous so far. Yeah. I was thinking you probably could do it in a two wheel drive. It's just that. Um, Initial, that bit of the road in that got quite bad before you got onto the track. Look at Everest coming through. At least there's heaps of areas to pull off. the lost city just in case you're wondering it's not really a lost city it's just some like sandstone type formations that look like some kind of remnants of a ancient civilization according to the handbook you anyway, know it's pretty cool pretty easy driving nice little path to follow A bit like the uh, rock that was in the Twin Falls walk. Kind of looks like you're at a movie set and this is like some kind of polystyrene rocks. But they're real. They're real rocks. Yeah, but they kind of look like they were chimneys or windows or... Yeah, they do kind of look like some kind of old buildings. This bit's pretty cool. Like a big rock perched up there. It's a shame about the light at the moment. I seem to be just shooting into the sun all the time. Maybe we'll get a better view around here. Not really. Sonia and I were just saying about how, well, actually, I was saying it's actually kind of cool if you imagine it, it was a real lost city and not just a pile of rocks. And Sonia pointed out that that's a bit <laughs> shit. Pretending that something is something else and because the thing that it really was was not very cool. But it's cool that it's just a pile of rocks, but it's cooler if you imagine it to be a lost city. Anyway, you know what I mean. This is heaps cooler than I thought it was going to be. I'm really enjoying it. The drive-in was easier, the rocks are cooler, all round. Good experience so far. This one's a cave. Pretty cool. We're at the old tin mine now. Uh, we're about to do the walk in there, which is 600 meters uh, each way, I think. No, return. Uh, we just went to do the Blythe Homestead, and turns out there's a whole bunch of like water crossings to get in there. And after speaking to a bloke, he reckoned that was sort of like top of the wheel um, 
which is just a bit too deep I reckon without a snorkel which is kind of a bummer because nothing actually made mention of it no pamphlets none of the information we read about this site had any mention of the water crossing so we're all pumped up ready to go and we got there and chickened out because um, I don't really want to drown my car and the first crossing was probably probably 70 to 80 meters wide so pretty deep pretty wide didn't want to get water in my car didn't want to drown it so anyway we're going to check out tin mine instead <laughs> turns out this one's got water crossings as well we weren't prepared for this Risky. Made it across, but did get a little bit of a wet leg. Anyway, they're at the uh, Bamboo Creek Tin Mine now. Hmm, looks pretty cool. Apparently it was abandoned in the 1950s so it's not really that old I mean it's old but not that old if you know what I mean so we've come across a hole in the ground uh, this one's off limits but to be honest I don't really want to go in there anyway because apparently there's bats some of you might remember our video from Yelgu where we went into a hole in the ground a little bit of a surprise in there with some crickets and some bats and some mosquitoes and some spiders and some low roofs. That was my idea. Hmm. So apparently this was used as a water reservoir. It was a spring that fed it and then it collected the water and fed it down to all the bizzo down there. Pretty cool. This is actually quite interesting. I mean, in terms of some of the other stuff, I'm a bit bummed that we couldn't do that Blythe homestead. So, I've been in a bit of a meh mood since then. But this is uh, this is quite cool, quite informative. Some cool old ruins, machinery. Big steam engine. Would have been cool. Just about to start the walk to Upper Cascades. The lower cascades is apparently closed due to an increased crocodile risk and we're unsure about the status of Curtin Falls which is where we went last time um, but that seems to be sort of closely connected to the lower cascades so I feel like it might be a bit crocky but upper cascades is open and should be all good. All right, we're nearly there. Apparently oh, it's 1.7 each way. Uh, yeah, so there's been lots of up and down on this walk, which is all right, but it does mean that I think that we're gonna be all sweaty and gross by the time we get back to the car after our nice refreshing swim. <laughs> Such is life. Picturesque. Don't know, it's much worth swimming though. Oh, there's a little spot down there. There's a little hole. What do you reckon? We found our swing spot. No peeps, clear water, perfect. That was a pretty good swim. Really enjoyed it. Last time we didn't come up this way, so. Good to see something different. What a on you reckon? It's cool. The better swim is definitely down there at the Curtin Falls, but that's closed because of crocs. So it's not the best swim at the moment. But what's funny is there's still people swimming down there. 
now that we're walking back and it's hot and I'm sweaty I don't know that the swim was worth the walk for the Cascades it was an okay swim but it wasn't the best I hate to say it no disrespect to the upper Cascades but it's just a bit of a ball ache walk to get there and now I'm hot and I've basically forgotten what it was like to be in the water Sonia just got bitten by a marsh fly she's peeved up. so where are we noodling Andrew? we're noodling at one guy aka Wangy aka Wangy Wangy Everyone's got a different way of pronouncing it. But you'll know it as the place where someone got bitten by a crocodile recently. <laughs> Some might say we're crazy. There's a lot of crazy people here too. Yeah, we're not alone at least. And the water's <laughs> fairly clear. Yeah, I bet it was the other week too. Anyway, have a look around. Apparently there's a warm patch over here, which sounds creepy as. There's like a whole bunch of people weed. And there's a nice waterfall there. Lots of people noodling. I'm still suspicious about crocs. There's a fly on the GoPro. We're off to Beulie Rock Hole. Some beautiful little rock pools for swimming in. This sign says there's still a fire band, but the range today told us that it's over. All pretty cool. It's pretty good. Lots of mosquitoes though. Last time we were here that was packed and this time around there was hardly any people so much more enjoyable experience. It is like almost five o'clock in the evening. So that probably has something to do with it, but definitely made for a more enjoyable experience. Who did, who did the better bomb? Well, I couldn't see my bomb, but Sonia's bomb was pretty average. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I'm going to say 8 out of 10. We've been staying at the Florence Falls old four-wheel drive campsite for the last couple of nights. It's pretty nice. Have a look. Picturesque, but there was a fire ban last night and somebody lit a fire, but then they uh, hurriedly put it out. I'm sure somebody told them off. $517 fine. 400. 400 and something, $417 fine. Thanks, Sonia. We're just taking a walk from our campsite down to the plunge pool, 700 meters each way. We're probably not going to go for a swim, I'll save that for the morning. But, you know, we just thought we'd go for a walk anyway and check it out. See what it's like down there at this time of the evening. See if we can see any fresh water crocodiles. We'll see what we can see. See what we can find. <laughs> Pretty much empty. If there's one thing that stuck with me around uh, the Northern Territory, it is the pandanus bush. Have a look at this. So spiky. It'll ruin your day real fast. Won't it, Sonia? Sonia doesn't want to talk about it anymore. She's had too many days ruined by pandanus. Going for a noodle at Berry Springs. It's really busy. Couldn't get a park in the car park, so should be awesome. Campground was a bit sh last night. Some foreigners partied until 2 a.m. Was not impressed. Let's just say they did not try that shit again tonight. 
pretty good bomb. Oh, hey. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy Andrew here. <laughs> that one's for you, Christy B. <laughs> Hanging out in the pandemic. The water's actually really warm. It's kind of gross. Like, it makes me think. 20,000 people of weed in here and it's gone nowhere. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just because it's spring, Sonia. Perhaps. Anyway, it's pretty nice here. Yeah, very relaxing. It's not too busy. A little bit too busy, but not too, too busy. Not very buoyant. <laughs> That's a cute noodle. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, what's this move called? Inappropriate for YouTube. <laughs>